you're going to put the whole axle right back in. It should slip most of the way in. And then you're just going to get you a socket that will fit right over here. Take a hammer and just tap it until it gets past. What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of Car Smart TV. I'm Jason. And I had a customer drop off a cart that was making a really bad noise in the rear end. This is a 2000, oh, of course, the O2 EasyGo TXT 36 volt. And they brought it to me, making a terrible, terrible noise in the rear end. And so I've got the thing back up to, to par on the battery voltage because it was a little low where it sat for a while. Got it back up, got it running, got it powered, all that good stuff. And I thought, because of the noise that it was making, that it was going to be a blown hub, a stripped out hub. Well, I was wrong. The hub is perfectly fine. And I had to do a little digging behind the hub. And I have found that we have a bad rear axle bearing and it's pretty bad because it is completely blown apart and so the folks not knowing that this was going on the uh, rear axle seal also got torn up it had started to sag really bad right here because of the weight of the axle on it and so we got in here and we got our axle pulled out And we got our inner bearing race that was on this side of the axle. We had to press it off and uh, got us a new axle seal shoved up in here and put us a new seal in. You can see it there. And uh, just waiting on my bearing to come in from the parts place. And we're going to slide the axle and bearing back in here, put our clips back on, get our wheels back on here. And this will be another happy customer. It had actually destroyed the bearing and sealed so badly that it was just clumps of metal and rubber all inside of this thing. So, got that cleaned out. Going to get the new axle bearing in. Check the fluid. Make sure everything's still now good. use a circlip. It's hard to see. You can see the little clip right there holding that um, seal in. They also use a sir clip that will, when the bearing gets in there and gets stopped on its spot, sir clip goes in here to keep it <clears throat> held inside there. And so the sir clip got damaged too, but I've got plenty of those to uh, replace with. And uh, as I said, hopefully this customer will be good to go after this. Everything else is working properly. And like I said, the battery voltage had been too low for the charger to take over so I had to go through the battery pack charge each battery individual with the car charger get the power back and all that good stuff so yeah guys uh, hopefully this will help some of you guys out it's super easy to do like I said once you get the start clip out the axle slides right out there's no extra craziness to go on um, now I did have to when I slid the axle out of course all the ball bearings were gone and all that so the axle and the center of the bearing slid out together with no problem this was still left behind so I did have to go in there with a, um, a slide hammer and a couple of little small claws it will grab the little tiny raised inside right here just good enough to actually give it a couple of good little pull hammers and it slipped right out and then the seal is pretty easy to get out as well it's not too bad um, and then going back in, you put your bearing on the axle. You'll put the bearing back on the axle here till it stops. And then you're just going to slide that back in there and uh, put your circ clip in. And you'll be good to go, guys. Hey, guys. So here I've got my bearing back in. 
it's really simple to do you just put the bearing back over the uh, spline side <clears throat> then you're gonna put the whole axle right back in it should slip most of the way in and then you're just gonna get you a socket that'll fit right over here take a hammer and just tap it until it gets past once you get the bearing in and tap it a few times it's gonna see you can see that little slot right before the bearing okay so that's where your circlip's gonna go <clears throat> and then you'll be done with this whole thing here all right guys so this is what i meant by the circlip don't know what everybody calls them comment let us know what you call these things it's a snap ring jason as people that watch this channel probably already have picked up on that Jason has his own vocabulary for a lot of things golf cart related but it's my fault I trained him I'll tell him it's a snap ring but I'll continue to call him sir clip once you get your bearing in this is your last thing before you reassemble the hub and get it back going again like that it clips in there holding your bearing in place most of these carts have a little washer that goes in behind the hub like so and then you're gonna get your hub y'all can see how easy this is one-handed And you get your hub on, put your castle nut back on, put your, your uh, cotter pan back in, wheel on, good to go. So, hopefully this helped you guys out. Fine, it's a snap ring. Still call it a circle. But... Anyway guys, appreciate you watching the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. As always, thank you for watching.